Hey, we haven't written the script for the next episode of Felony Observe. We need to get it done. How's 8pm tomorrow? Uh, my apologies, Horse T, but I have something to do at 8pm tomorrow. Oh yeah, okay, didn't need you anyway. It doesn't matter, don't worry about it. Yeah, just don't come, we'll finish it by ourselves. It's okay, you're not that important. Yeah, ha ha ha, you thought we were going to reschedule, but... As if T actually has something to do. I'm sure she's actually just trying to worm her way out of contributing to our project. Hence, I have come to stalk her at her house to affirm what she's actually currently doing. Oh my goodness, T, I had no idea your house exploded into glitter. Yes, it does this every Sunday at 8pm, fortunately. How come you aren't coated in glitter whenever I see you then? That's because I have this really good glitter removal pass. As a daughter of a husband of a grandmother of an about to come of age child studying in Singapore from Ding Ding Girl on a student pass. But my son is graduating tomorrow and is going to expire soon. Whatever will I do? Oh well, good thing I heard about this new promotion. If you're married to a Singaporean, you can get a free lifetime glitter removal pass. But how will I find a spouse? As long as you have money, you can solve all problems, including finding a spouse. Do you have any questions? Good, now please sign here. And now, the witnesses. Horse T, the witness for T, please sign the marriage certificate. Valence Electron, the witness for Short, please sign the marriage certificate. Short and T, I now pronounce you Short and Wife. Wow! That was so efficient and easy and legal! <laughs> Welcome, esteemed guests. I'm the glitter cleaner Glenananananananananis. Hello, we would like to register for the lifetime glitter removal pass under the totally legitimate and not fake through a shy marriage spouse of a, of a Singaporean that is totally not also in on this plan scheme. Hey, I see you got married a minute ago. Congratulations! Haha, <laughs> thank you! Hmm, I noticed that your addresses are different. Why is this so? Well, you see, I have to leave the country every five hours because of my work. Therefore, my address is located within the plane Boeing 084M4, seat number 18C. I see. I respect your lifestyle. Could you please fill in this application here? Name short. Name of spouse? Uh, hmm. Not too sure about this one. Do you perhaps not know your spouse's name? No, we are very close. Short here is just under pressure. You remember my name, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah. It's... uh... K? Okay, thank you. I think this is enough information for your application. We will contact you within four to six days. Hello, I'm Glitter Cleaner Glenis. I have reason to suspect a marriage of convenience. Policeman, we just got a new case of a suspected marriage of convenience between Short and T. Okay, tell me more. T is a ding ding villain currently staying in Singapore on a daughter of a husband of a grandmother of an about to come of age child studying in Singapore from Ding Dingville on a student pass scheme. Short is a Singaporean citizen. They applied for a lifetime glitter removal pass one minute after officiating their marriage. They also reside in different locations and Short cannot even spend more than five hours in Singapore at once. Thank you for collecting this intel, man. Considering that we live in the digital age, although it is odd that they do not reside near each other, it isn't inconceivable. We still need to conduct further investigation to find out if they have been fulfilling their marital obligations. Yes, sir. I will dispatch man and man to investigate the situation. I can't believe Short forgot my name. Kay? Who is that? Doesn't she know that the very first marriage obligation is to know your spouse's name? Wait, let me find the list. Here it is, a beginner's guide to share marriages, marital obligations for noobs. We fulfilled most of these. I think. We have caught her red-handed. Time to bring this information back to the supervisor.
short, please be on standby to leave the country in five minutes. You have a performance at Bebop Center. The set list will be I Am Not, In a Sham, and Marriage, featuring T. Okay, thank you, manager. I need to go and follow her to Bebop Center, wherever that may be. Wait a minute, it's in Canada? That's so far away. How is it possible that she's fulfilling her marital obligations with T? Hello, we, we are, are the class. class. We are so excited to be here on our first world tour. We must be the first K-pop group to perform in the Bebot Center. Why don't we start with self-introductions? Hello everyone, I am Tall, leader and main vocalist of T Class. What? Short is a K-pop idol? Surely she isn't allowed to get married. And how would they be staying connected when she spends the most of her time in Korea? I must report this to police, man. Good evening, man and man. Oh, man, perhaps it is still morning for you in Canada. Have you gathered any useful information? Yes, sir. I was following T and I saw her pull out a book called A Beginner's Guide to Sham Mar Marital Obligations for Noobs, which I find rather suspicious. I agree, that is quite suspicious. What about you, man? I am following short and I found out that she is member tall of T Class, a K-pop group currently touring in North and South America. I don't think that she would be permitted to get married and they'd surely not be following any of their marital obligations. I think this is sufficient grounds to arrest them. We should arrest them at the same time so that they don't alert each other. And I can't believe you think I'm in a sham marriage. That's it! That's short! You must arrest short immediately or we'll lose our chance. Stop! This is the Singapore Police Force. We are arresting you on account of you committing the crime of a sham marriage. Are you a fan? You even know the title of this mashup. No, we are here to arrest you. Are you in a sham marriage? Yes, you are. Now hands behind your back and face the wall. Nice cheering! Short. Your arrest was one of the hardest I've experienced in years. Thank you. It is not a compliment. How did you enter the marriage with T? It wasn't me, but my friend, Horst T. It told me that it would give me 8k if I get married to a ding ding villain, hoping to get a lifetime glitter removal pass. And why did you accept its offer? Well, my group has been in depth for 5 years since our debut. But more importantly, I needed some inspiration for our new comeback album, T Sham Marriage. You heard the songs too, weren't they so realistic? Well, I would have no idea as I'm not in a sham marriage. Anyway, do you have Horse T's contact? Yes, I have it on my phone, but it has unfortunately been confiscated by the company. Maybe you should ask Kay. T, were you also convinced to join the marriage by Horse T? Yes. Horace Key saw my house explode into glitter and I explained to him about how I was on the daughter of a husband of a grandmother of an about to come of age child studying in Singapore from the New on a student pass scheme. But it would soon expire because my son is graduating. So he told me about the free lifetime pass for people married to Singaporeans. Okay, do you have Horace T's contact? Yes. Horace T, what is your relationship with Short and T? I do not know them very well. But you were the witness to their marriage. Well, they asked me for help, so I helped them. I have no idea what, who they are, though. Both of them have said that you got them into the sham marriage. I know nothing about this. I don't even know who T is. Do you even know who I am? A marriage fixer? I don't exactly know. Anyway, you are under arrest. Please stand up and face the wall. I am of course. You cannot arrest me. I am pretty sure I can. This court is now in session to hear the trial of T. The prosecution is fully ready to proceed, Your Excellency. The defense counsel is ready, Your Excellency. Okay, thank you. We shall now hear from the prosecution. I shall now present my case. We would like to convict T of entering a marriage of convenience in order to obtain a lifetime villain removal pass. On 7 March 2022, T entered a sham marriage for short and proceeded to apply for a lifetime for the removal pass just one minute later. In addition, we have reason to believe that they failed to fulfill their marriage obligations. As Shor works as a K-pop idol and spends most of the time in Korea. 
She failed to recall T's name on several occasions. There are the nine days which the police has been investigating them. They have not met even once. According to the legal requirements to obtain a lifetime balloon removal pass- OBJECTION! Why are sham marriages even illegal? We are legally married. We signed the certificate and we had a witness. We even filled most of our marriage obligations. I deserve to be granted this pass. I paid 8k for it. I fulfilled all the necessary criteria to be granted this pass. I am a totally legitimate and not fake to a sham marriage spouse of a Singaporean that is totally not also in on this plan. OBJECTION! You may fulfill the criteria on paper, but you are not actually spouses that only got married for the sake of this pass. This is considered as fraud because you provided false statements to the government. Objection! I am actually their spouse. We are legally and consensually married. It does not matter that we do not live in the same house and are not following our marriage obligations because these are not criteria listed under the requirements to get the pass. We just need to be married, which we are. However, you are only entitled to this clause if you are a totally legitimate and not fake to a sham marriage spouse of a Singaporean that is totally not also in on this plan. Clearly, you are in a sham marriage with a Singaporean who is in on this plan. You do not fulfill the requirements to obtain this pass. But we are. We are legitimately married. It does not matter that we only got married to obtain the pass because we fulfill all the criteria required to apply. This is utterly ridiculous and I will not stand for it. Order in the court. I am Officer Policeman. The reenactment you have just watched is based on a true account of a sham marriage in Singapore. The three individuals were eventually arrested after officers from the Singapore Police Force worked tirelessly conducting extensive investigations and ground observations to uncover the sham marriage. We would like to discourage anyone from engaging in a marriage of convenience because you will end up in an endless debate like the one pictured here and you will waste your entire life on it. As always, report any suspicious sightings to the police at 1-800-KNEE-CAP. Thank you and stay safe.